Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hetflix, and this week we have an incredible scarecrow clutch. So this week on the vlog, we have an awesome story time and we're gonna look at a crazy, crazy hurricane scarecrow clutch that just hatched. But before we get into that, I wanna give you guys the story a little bit of where the scarecrow name came from. So back in 2016, I just kind of was launching the whole Batman thing. It was a real big surprise to me that turned out as crazy as it did. And we were just trying to make as many incredible Batman combos as we could. And one of the big ones we had in mind was the Coral Glow Batman. So we bred, I think it was a Batman male to a Coral Glow Het Clown female, and the clutch was absolutely phenomenal. It just blew us away because, of course, the Batman has one of the craziest cool clown patterns in existence, and then just to layer on the Coral Glow color on top of that was just mind-boggling. And honestly, as cool as a Scarecrow was with the crazy pattern, the Leopard Coral Glow Clown ended up being just as good, and that was also the first for that combo in that clutch. So going off the Batman theme, we named the Leopard Coral Glow Clown the Gotham, and then we named the Batman Coral Glow Clown the Scarecrow, which of course, both of them off the Batman theme, Scarecrow being a Batman villain, and Gotham, of course, being Gotham City. So, and big shout out to Dave Ruchin of Bloodball Reptiles, who gave me some of the ideas. I think he came up with the Scarecrow name, but bounced those ideas off back and forth. So fast forward, we've been working on that project ever since. We made a fire Gotham. We made another Scarecrow, but then last year we made a Hurricane Scarecrow. And it was one of our big reveals for 2019, I think it was. It was absolutely insane and it made the pattern even crazier. Let's go check him out first and then we're gonna look at the clutch that he gave us to a normal clown female and see what all those variations look like by themselves. So before we go look at those babies, I wanna show you the original Scarecrow female so you can see how she's changed over the years. So she's from 2016, so she is five years old now. And look, it still has a great pattern to her. A lot of those purples in the coral glows kind of fade over time. They become just kind of two-toned. Um, it's still great, you can see the pattern in there pretty well. And uh, the spots have, have kind of toned down over time, so that they're more of a gray instead of a black. But she's a big girl, and uh, she's being bred right now to uh, something else, so hopefully she'll give us another good clutch this, this season. So here is the Hurricane Scarecrow, the breeder boy, and he has gotten really, really, really big, but still looks amazing, has excellent, excellent contrast. You see all the spots coming in, of course, from the coral glow. As they get older, they get more and more spots. But he's incredible, and he's a female maker. So in this clutch we got, all the coral glows ended up being females. So we'll check those out in a little bit. But an awesome stud male, we've been using him a lot, and trying to add, it's hard to know what to add to this, because most things you add in would actually make the pattern lighter. Um, and uh, make some of the contrast disappear, but we want this to be even darker and better. And uh, we have some really cool ideas for uh, 2021 season about what to add into this. So in the same clutch as the Hurricane Scarecrow, we actually got a Hurricane Leopard Spot Nose Coral Glow Het Clown. So this is a big, big female. And you see how similar she actually looks to the visual Hurricane Scarecrow. The clown doesn't change it that much. You get most of the pattern in just the head. So uh, it's really interesting to see, sometimes you can just put the right genes together and end up with something that's nearly as visual as even if it had the visual recessive in it. So here we're gonna start with a 2021 Scarecrow. So this is the brand new baby version of the Scarecrow. So just a Coral Glow Batman. It is still one of the coolest patterned crazy clown combos you could possibly make because the color is insane and of course the Batman adds so much amazing contrast which turns into beautiful beautiful purples and it's kind of edged with a little bit of orange on edging on every single bit of pattern. An incredible animal. Now we've got a bunch of really cool stuff in this clutch. It's hard to hit the odds because even though we're going visual to visual we had four different codoms in the mix, so Leopard Spot Nose, Coral Glow, and Hurricane. And so the odds of hitting all four of those codoms in a single animal, basically recreating the dad, was only one in 16. Only one in 16, so pretty tough. So this is actually one of the better animals we got right here with, with the Scarecrow, but we also got some incredible Coral Glow Hurricane Clowns, which I'd never seen before. We're gonna look at those now. 
So here we have the Coral Glow Hurricane Clown. Now, I don't know if this is the first one ever made. It's certainly the first one I've made. Um, even when I made some last year, I didn't get this specific combo. Turned out really, really great. And then there is a Coral Glow Spot Nose Hurricane Clown. Look how crazy the pattern is on that. And very, very intense and different head pattern. These are, these are new combos to me, absolutely incredible. And just look at the color palette. Now with these coming from a male that's a female maker, every single Coral Glow in the clutch ended up being a female, which was actually really nice because female Coral Glows can be kind of hard to find because most people have male makers. And the last two babies in the, that were Coral Glows in the clutch were two beautiful female Gothams. So the Gotham is of course a leopard Coral Glow clown. And what I love about these is they're just so clean. That black stripe is so purple. Then the head is very orange compared to the rest of the body, which gives it a really, really neat look. I just think it has a, a cool transition in color. And there's just a little pile of beautiful, beautiful bright orange clown ball pythons, all different combos. Really can't beat a clutch like this. So I gotta show you the last two in the clutch. They're actually the two, only two non-coral glow combos. And of course they're both clowns, they're both Batmans. Really, really nice, amazing Batmans. And look how different they are in comparison to their siblings. And a lot of people, they know that the Coral Glow is sex linked. What they don't know is that if you're gonna get all female Coral Glows, that means the non-Coral Glows in the clutch are gonna be males, they're gonna be the opposite. So the cool thing is you can actually literally hatch out this clutch and visually tell by looking at them if they're gonna be males or females almost across the board with a lot of accuracy. There are some variations sometimes in the rules for these, but for the most part, you can look at this pile and they go, those are males, those are females. Nice and simple. What a cool contrast in that whole clutch. All right, there you have it. That's the Scarecrow story, the Coral Glow Batman Clown, kind of how we all started and where we've gone so far. And I'm uh, really excited every time we hatch something like these. They're just so beautiful, so special. And uh, it never gets old really making some of these amazing, amazing combos. Even if they've been around a while, they just still blow me away every time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next week.